Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Very nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello everyone, Frank Tastic here and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In this video, I am doing a weapon review. And the weapon I have chosen for this particular video because I keep seeing people request it in my comment section and live stream chat is the VH SD2. I literally just upgraded it to Mark III. This is pretty much what it looks like standard. A pretty interesting looking weapon. Not going to lie about that. I have never used it. So I am quite intrigued with why people was asking me to use this weapon. It doesn't exactly look like a weapon that I would typically choose. But before we go ahead and get into the video, I would like to go ahead and ask you to click that like button. It really helps the channel. It really helps the videos. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more content from me. Don't forget, I do have a second YouTube channel for no commentary, tactical and stealth gameplay. Link to that channel is also down below. Make sure you go over there and you hit subscribe. There's also one more thing I would like to go ahead and mention. I am getting a lot of people asking me what my favorite ASR is in the game. And I always say that I don't have an answer. And that is the truth. I don't know what my favorite ASR in the game is because there's a lot of really good weapons in the game. There's also a lot of really bad weapons. So I think this video is going to be the very first video of my weapon review series. I have done weapon reviews in the past, but not really that much. So what my plan is, I'm going to go through all the assault rifles in the game that I find interesting, but throughout the entire series, I'm going to be checking the comments and whenever I do live streams, I'm going to be watching the live stream chat and see what kind of weapons people are suggesting because someone may suggest a weapon that's not on my list and I may go ahead and give that weapon a test and a try and a review as well. So if there is a particular ASR in the game that you would like to see me try out, go ahead and post it down below. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and customize the weapon to how I see fit. I don't think I'm going to be going through and trying the weapon with each and every attachment because honestly that would take forever especially if I do it with every single assault rifle so I'm going to customize th this weapon and all the other weapons in the future of this series to the way I see fit and to fit my playstyle if you don't know what my playstyle is it's tactical and stealth <laughs> I typically do the short barrel I honestly normally go for the standard or small so I'm gonna go for standard uh, suppressor back 15 uh, comp. Ah, uh, interesting. So, for this weapon, the laser sight actually will go on top. It will actually mount on the top rail, depending on the sight. Which I already know that, but some weapons uh won't do it for certain sights like it would for others. 
So that is interesting. In case you did not know, I prefer my laser sight to mount on the top rail. In game, it's more it's it's more accurate. If it's sitting on the side, it can be off. So, anyways, really interesting. So auto single STFG angled grip, very nice. And I think that's about it. Now I'll do a little customize with the look of the gun. And that is that. I actually do kind of like the way it looks. Khaki is part of my favorite weapon camo in the game, so I use khaki a lot. That's actually very nice. I might actually make the laser sight black though, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and leave the uh, bivouac. Now when I do these weapon reviews, like the the locations I go to, it, they're nothing specific. Honestly, I just go to a, a place that I think would uh, be a good place to test the weapon. I don't know how to uh, explain. So the place that I actually chose to go with this weapon is the uh, Vin Vinbog Port. Yeah, Vinbog Port. Um, also, in case you don't know, um, I switched over to PC for this game. Uh, so I don't play on Xbox that much like I used to. So I have a new character. So I don't have like everything unlocked like I do for my Xbox character. Anyways, not important. Let's get to it. Got a two-man patrol to my east. Gonna deactivate this. Lay it down. Very nice, very nice. My first two shots uh, with this weapon. Get your sight lines cleaned up. I want you ready. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> What about a body shot? Alright, two body shots. Was honestly kind of expecting that, so nothing new there. See someone over there. Alright. Everything seems alright, just seems like a standard weapon. The mobility, I do kind of like the mobility speed this weapon has. It's not the highest, but it does feel higher than uh, the average ASR. It feels accurate, but I'm also not shooting like long shots. Got decent range. Dead bodies was found, which is okay. I'm not worried about that. All right, everything still seems a-okay for me. All right, I can't shoot that guy because someone's running by. So the bullet flying over this dude's head actually been kind of bad. All right, so there you go on that way. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this. All right, everything's still pretty good. Pretty sure there's a sniper up here somewhere, but if there is, I don't see him. Unless that, that must be the sniper out there. Uh, so they're, the enemies are coming down. All right, that's fine. Hey, don't relax just yet. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit the sniper. I might actually hit one of the rails, but that's okay because he's walking away anyways. I'm not sure how someone over here. Heard the gunshot? I think that's just the game bugging out right there. Pretty sure that's just the game bugging out. 
I don't know what's going on. Which won't surprise me, to be honest. Right, they calm down really quickly, too. I don't know. That gun definitely seems accurate, though. What's the accuracy for it? Wow, as it has a really high accurate. I mean, everything is actually pretty high. I will say one thing, though, and I hope someone um, corrects me here. But the recoil, with that white bar being so far right, does that mean it has a high recoil, or does it mean it has a low? So if that white bar was actually further to the left like a low white bar, does that mean it has higher recoil or what? That's actually one thing about the stats that I still haven't figured it out. I haven't really like tested it either. I just kind of hoping someone out there already knows and tells me. Guess I could test it though. Seems like yes, all right, recoil. I mean, Was it insane? Oh. Oh. You know what? I actually think it has pretty good recoil. So I guess that white bar being further right actually means it doesn't have that much recoil to uh to fight. Unless I'm wrong. Like I like I said, if I'm wrong about that, someone politely correct me in the uh in the comments. Trying to keep my eye out for the sniper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I hit the... Hit the pole. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it definitely feels really good when it comes to like handling and the recoil. All right. So far, so good. I really, I actually do like the gun. I think, I think the only thing that would prevent me from not considering it my favorite is just the look of it. Because if you know me, I, I say it all the time. I really like the tactical AR look, like the you know the 416, the M4A1. Those the weapon, the way those weapons look. That's what I'm really into. So yeah, performance performance of the weapon is definitely being considered, but so is so is the way the weapon looks. I will say that. It still doesn't look that bad to be honest. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a Halo weapon or something like that. I will say although that this was not my best stealth clear of this base. That's fine. That's not what I was even focused on. As long as I don't get detected, then that's fine. Bodies getting found, whatever the case is, that's all right. As long as I never get spotted, then that's still all right with me. So I would say for stealth, this gun seems really good, but I honestly want to kind of just try it at another base. I, I, I really do want to try it at one more base when it comes to stealth, just to see, just to see. I don't know. I, I, I do like the gun. I definitely like the gun. So we're going to move on to another base. I'm going to do one more stealth clear. See how it feels. See how it performs. Alright, so I decided to go to this place. Blue Corp Startup. Just because it, the base itself is pretty easy. But I really wanted to go to a place that is kind of polluted with enemies. It's really hard to like pick a place that's you're looking for a lot of enemies because for some reason Ubisoft didn't really code a lot of enemies at some of these bases. So some of these bases throughout this entire weapon review series, I may repeat some of these bases just to try to get like a good amount of enemies. But this one actually has a pretty decent amount. 
It doesn't have a like a lot lot, but it still has a decent amount. Definitely seems like it has pretty good range too, I will say that. Someone's up here. I heard him cough. Two guys over there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm really liking the gun. I just... Uh, I think the only thing I can't really get over is just the way it looks. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it looks bad. It's just it's not what I like my primaries to look like. I haven't talked to my wife in too long. This comms blackout is bullshit. The new sniper said he was stationed in a relay when everything went dark. This is scary shit. All right. All right, I guess these guys are going to turn around. Yeah. So far, so good. I will say that. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good because it put me in one of those situations where I have to adapt. And if you don't have a weapon that can perform well, then sometimes those situations can get really hairy. And that was a, a heavy that I had to like adapt to uh, try to take down. It's actually really good. I really like this gun, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that it doesn't have a lot of recoil actually makes it pretty good to use when it comes to like having to take a bunch of shots at a heavy heavy's head hmm. huh? Huh. yeah it's really good it's really good Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. I would say... I don't know, I can't... I don't want to say... I don't want to say what I'm thinking right now because I'm afraid that it, it might, like... Give something away, I don't know. But it's, it's a really decent gun. It's a good gun. I like it. But I still need to test it out in open combat and against drones. Definitely has good range. Definitely has good range. I ain't gonna lie about that. Can't see this other guy. I accidentally, accidentally shot like half a second too early. But no, it, 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 for stealth, I, I would recommend this gun for stealth. I, I would definitely say that. So for stealth, I would actually give this weapon a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 100%. But let's go ahead and move on to another base and see how well this gun performs in open combat. Well. <laughs> okay. Who else wants some? Alright. Wow.
Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm coming up on this base. I took a few people out on the way. But I just realized that if I was purposely going to go aloud with this weapon, the current attachments it has is not what I would be rocking. So, I'm going to go ahead and change the attachments on it to what I would want to rock if I was... Damn, I, would, I thought I had the flash hider. I was going to put the flash hider on my uh, weapon, but I, I don't have it unlocked for this character, which is very upsetting, very disappointing. I, honestly, I don't have anything <laughs> unlocked, so I'm very upset about that. But I would actually rock this type of sight if I was purposely going to go loud. The only thing I am missing from this weapon that I would like to put on it is the flash hider. But, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get in here and kill some people. Alright. I would say, I don't know why, but it kind of looks weird with the sight on this weapon. I don't know why. It does seem a bit weird. It's like these people know I'm here, but they don't know I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Sniper down. Love how I'm trying to go loud, but I'm still, <laughs> I'm still stealthy. I'm not trying to be stealthy. Come on, people. <laughs> kind of hard to tell while I'm aiming in third person like that, but that's for every gun, not just this one. Sounds like someone's over here. You dead? Never mind. Those assholes are here. Keep a lookout. I don't know if this place has a turret. Very nice. Very nice. I just like destroyed those people. I'm trying to see if there's another sniper up there. Oh wow. Okay, so I apparently can't shoot through that, but I don't know if that's just this weapon or if that's just like any weapon. And that sniper's down. Alright, so I'm actually going to switch the sight. Just because I do use... I do use this site a lot, even sometimes in combat, so I'm gonna try this site. Oh. Well. Okay then. That's crazy! I was- I was- uh, Okay. I was trying to get into like an actual open combat, open firefight with these guys, and they just, uh... It just seemed like they didn't really know where I was the entire time. 
which is strange. So I think what I'm going to do is just move on to this base right here because it's pretty close and try to do another combat firefight. Try to get into like a firefight. Yeah, they got you to react. Heads up for intruders. Hey, hey, get a shot. Hostiles are close. <laughs> Sniper down. Laser sight definitely seems accurate. Not 100% accurate because it's still going to mess up, but. Maybe they'll get the person outside to come in here. Okay. Alright, they're here. Now we just gotta find them. Right here. Jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's not even like looking over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Take a look around. Yeah. Let's check that out. Move in. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Come on. Some bad cover. Vehicle. I would say they. I don't think it's the weapon, I think it's just the game, but uh, in a alert state like this, they take. A lot of rounds, like, to the chest today. Kind of rotating around. <laughs> Gonna move up to this roof. I hear enemies actually over here. Must be reinforcements that might have rode in. No, no, no. Alright, don't take any chances until. Ah! Don't kill me. I'm literally shooting with like no suppressor in these guys like just seems like they keep losing interest in me with the suppressor removed and I'm just shooting with the standard muzzle I will say that it feels like it's not as accurate and it feels like the uh, the recoil kind of kicks a little bit early compared to with a suppressor attached I'll find you. Oh, that's that. So when it comes to like open combat and a firefight, I mean, it doesn't feel like there's anything special there. Because I mean, once I removed the suppressor, the recoil did feel like it kind of kicks in. But at the same time, I can, it's still very easy to control. It's still very easy to control compared to other weapons. But when it comes to open combat, there are a few other weapons I personally would prefer over this one. But when it comes to stealth, it's pretty decent for stealth. So, when it comes to open combat, I would give this weapon a 7 out of 10. But now, 
we must find some drones and then after the drones we must find a behemoth all right here we go I actually came over here to Egg Island because honestly this place is filled with drones and if I'm going to be testing this weapon against drones this is probably the best place to go Look, there's already one right there. How about that? How about that? So I'm not gonna just stand here and let the drone shoot me. I'm going to actually combat this drone like I typically would. And I typically would use uh, EMPs. Actually, I would just EMP and run up and throw C4 on it, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was it... Did it go down so quick because it... What? Did it go down so quickly because of the, uh... Why did it go down so quickly? Was it because it was EMP'd? It ran into the EMP, very nice. It's very easy to control the recoil, my gosh. And you really need that when going up against drones. You really need the recoil. Wow. And it's actually destroying them rather quickly. Now, I don't know if drones take more damage when they're EMP'd. I don't know that. And I'm sure I could easily just look at it or look it up, but I'm going to let y'all try to figure that one out. Oh, I got a hundred five, five, six rounds. Perfect. That's two mags right there. There you go. Damn. Damn. So easy. I probably don't even need to use a more three MP to take these down. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is insane. I mean, I could just be hitting the drones weak weak points, but still. So if you're going to go drone hunting, which I do advise people to go drone hunting every now and again because you do get a lot of good uh, crafting materials and resources and stuff like that from these drones. So if you're having trouble being able to upgrade your weapons or craft certain gadgets, whatever the case is, you can easily just come and hunt some drones. If that, if you're going to go drone hunting, I definitely recommend this weapon. And I am playing on extreme difficulty, which I don't know if being on extreme would even matter when it comes to the enemy's health. But that was three drones right there and two wolves. So I highly recommend this weapon when it comes to taking on drones. Maybe the EMP added some damage bonus. Maybe it was just simply because I was shooting them in a weak point. But like I said, I was going to combat these drones as if I was actually needing to combat them. And I just didn't have C4 on hand. I wasn't going to stand here and just stand behind a tree and shoot at the drone and let it shoot at me. I don't know who does that, but if people play like that, then they need to get good. But moving on, let's try to find some of those... Sky drones. There's some over here, which would be to my northeast. Alright, I'm coming up on these uh, murmur drones. I might die here, not gonna lie, I might die, because these things are... These things can 100% be hard to kill. I don't have any cover, so, and I'm on a heal, so honestly, fighting them right here would be bad. They kind of get over here, maybe up here where this big rock is. Use that as cover. Got sensor hack, damage the drones. I guess I could put this on the sensor hack perk. I don't know, I've never used it. So, I could try that. I just, these things, they, they move really fast once they get alerted. Just like that. Oh my 
got? They got behind me so quick. Well, shit. How am I not injured? I don't know. Am I not dead? I don't know. I mean, it, it, once I was able to actually lock on to them and shoot them, then they, they went down pretty easily. But I, I just hate fighting those those drones, man. I hate fighting those. It's a lot harder on console, too. If you're playing on thumbsticks, man, good luck fighting those. Whenever I come across these drones and I'm on Xbox, I just freaking sink shot them. <laughs> but that is irrelevant. I do want to say that this weapon actually performed really well at taking those drones down. Now, I don't know if putting that sensor hack perk on actually benefited or not, but I would assume that a player who goes drone hunting and you're fighting these drones, you're going to be rocking that perk. Nah. Anyways, I'm going to move over here and try to unlock this bivouac, and then I will be moving on and fighting a behemoth. When it comes to using this weapon to take on those murmur drones, those annoying flying pests, 9 out of 10. Only because I feel like the the average player would probably be rocking the extended mag. And the extended mag for most weapons, but this one, very particular. Uh, the reload speed just feels like it's really long. So, there is that. Let's go ahead and move on to a behemoth. Alright. I think that's it down there to my left. I see that tower. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. There it is right there. It looks angry. It looks ready to go, but it is also unaware that I am here. I did switch to the path, uh, Panther class just because the Panther class is probably the best class to use to go up against these things. just run away oh, oh man go ahead and reload why didn't you reload I don't know how I'm dying. I know it's gas, but I wasn't in the zone, I thought. I mean, you know, since we have the whole gas mask thing, I don't see why my character just doesn't put on a gas mask. Seems like it's not really doing that much damage. I'm also... I keep taking damage from the gas and I'm not even in the gas. I'm getting slightly confused here. Yeah, this weapon... I don't know. When it goes, when it comes to going up against the behemoth, it doesn't really seem like it's doing much of anything. I'm trying to get to where I can shoot the side, you know, the blue lights, but it just keeps moving. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, it shot that gas everywhere. I got nowhere to go.
And this sure is a beefy freaking behemoth, though. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it going up against a uh, behemoth because I feel like... I, I don't know. I just feel like there's weapons out there that I've used to take down behemoths much faster before. Unless the behemoths have gotten some type of, like, buff in, like, a recent patch that I just don't know about. The, the weapon did really well against, like, the ground drones and uh, the, the murmur drones, but against the behemoth, it seemed pretty weak, pretty basic, nothing special about it. There's definitely other weapons that can take down a behemoth much faster than that. And yeah, I know I needed to hit the blue uh, weak points, and I was trying to, but every time I was trying to get around, I was either getting hit with gas, or I needed to reload, or it just... I just didn't have a clean shot on it. Either way, when it comes to taking down a behemoth, I would rank it 4 out of 10. Because you need a lot of rounds when going up against a behemoth. And just if you're using the extended mag, just the reload speed feels pretty slow. The weapon, I don't know what happened there, but the weapon's recoil was getting all crazy. It did not feel like it did earlier, which is... Weird, considering I didn't change anything about the weapon, but overall, the performance, the attachments, the look of the weapon itself, overall, I rank this weapon 7 out of 10. I do recommend it, and that is all I gotta say about that. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learn some interesting things about this weapon again if you're not sure what the name is it is called the VHSD2 when it comes to stealth it's pretty good when it comes to open combat firefight situations it's pretty okay but when it comes to taking down those ground drones or those flying annoying drones pretty good but against the behemoth yeah I've used the better weapons to take down behemoths but again, how often are you actually going up against a behemoth, you know? So overall, 7 out of 10, based on the performance, based on the look of the weapon itself. Of course, the look of the weapon itself, that is just a personal preference for me. But I am still putting that into its overall ranking. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Click the like button if you did. Click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. You want to see more content from me. Especially if you want to see more weapon reviews. And as always, I hope everyone has a fantastic day.